Hi, it's Chris. And I always love these uh, Ryobi USB lithium batteries. They have a lot of neat little tools like flashlights and different size. I like the little magnifier glass and things. They're very handy. The original battery, which is the uh, FVB01, could be charged with a USB Type-C cable, but you could only use it in tools that had the connectors on the back here, Ryobi tools. They've come out with, a couple months ago, they came out with the, uh, the uh, FB03, which is a three amp hour battery. And what's really great about this new version is it has a indicator light that you push this button here and it tells you the charge state. But even better is that you not only can charge with Type-C, you can actually run Type-C tools so you can use it to charge your phone. So it makes these batteries even more universal. And just recently they came out with a new version of the Type uh, 2 amp hour ones. These are the VB02 and they also have the uh, push button indicators and you can use the output for Type-C devices. So very nice. The one thing that bugs me about these batteries is other than the amp hours and the watt hours listed on the battery, they give you no other specs. So we have no idea how many amps it takes to charge it and we have no idea how many, can, how many amps it can output on the Type-C port. So we need to look into those. But first let's, let's look at how you can charge it. You can charge it with an AC adapter that has a Type-C output and then the cable directly goes in the battery. You can also use a solar panel to charge it. I like these folding ones. This is a 60 watt that has um, Type-C and Type-A outputs. I particularly like this uh, FVC H01 three port charger. You can put three batteries in. It only charges them in sequentially, so only one will be charging at a time. But at least you don't have to, you have a place to store them and you don't have to worry about switching batteries every time another one is charged. I was curious of how much power it takes to charge these when they're down. So I have a um, Ryobi One power source that has a 30 watt power delivery port type C. And I've got a USB tester here. And if I plug it in, we can see how much it's actually taking. So it's 1.35 amps, roughly 6.5 watts. What's interesting is the advertisement here for the three port AC charger says it can charge up to 80% faster than the USB cable. So we need to see if that's true or not. As another check, I was curious of how much this charger, the three port one takes. So I have a uh, amp gauge here that I've got around one of the wires here. And when I turn on the, the charger here, let's see what it draws. It looks like it's ramped up to about 1.8 amps. I don't know where they get this 80% faster charging number from. If you look strictly at the current going to charge the batteries, I get a 33% increase. Other than that you can only charge the battery sequentially, the other downside is that it's an AC charger. So if you're camping, you have to have an AC source. Since faster charging is always preferred, let's look at ways that we can hack this charger so we can use other ways to charge it other than just the AC adapter. It looked to me like this was an AC to DC converter. So I opened up the charger and if you check the inputs, it is indeed a just running in five volts DC. So I think we can work with this. The first thing I did is I just cut this cord and stripped the two ends. Then I just used these lever nuts to connect the AC adapter back. Then I just verified that the charger still worked with the AC adapter. Most people will want to use a 12 volt cigarette lighter to charge their small batteries. So you can get these nice little uh, DC to DC converters that have a wide input range of 8 to 40 volts and it outputs 5 volts at 5 amps. It works nicely. I'm using my Ryobi power source as a test source. 
you might want to charge the batteries using a type C power cord in this case again I'm using the power source as the test but these little decoys you can get will uh, output 5 volts at a couple of amps and so you can also run it this way again I'm using uh, the lever nuts that connect the cables I also wanted to be able to use the direct DC output of the solar panels so I used the same DC to DC converter and that works pretty nice too. Now that we have a hack so we can charge it different ways, let's find out more about the cells about how much, uh, how long it takes to charge them, how long it takes to discharge, how much current can they output. We'll do a bunch of tests here. For the test, I'm putting this cell in this flashlight and I'm waiting to it dies all the way down and turns off. It seems like the flashlight turns off at 3.4 volts approximately. And I'm gonna do this for all the tests to make sure they're similar. The AC charger charged to three amp hour battery in 104 minutes. It took the USB-C charger uh, for the three amp hour battery 135 minutes. The AC adapter took 80 minutes to charge the two amp hour battery. The USB-C charger took uh, 102 minutes to charge the two amp hour battery. I think this up to 80% faster charging is uh, misleading. I only see a 22 to 23% decrease in charge time. The 3 amp hour battery says it has 10.8 watt hours worth of power in it. We have a fully charged 3 amp hour battery and just checking the initial voltage, it's uh, 4.12. I've got a USB load tester that I've set to 1.2 amps or 5.7 watts and I want to see how long it takes for the battery to turn off the USB-C port when the voltage gets low. The power only lasted 81 minutes so that comes out to about 7.7 uh, watt hours which is pretty far off the 10.8 the battery lists. This could be the inefficiency of the type C port. 3 amp hour battery after it's been depleted and the voltage is 3.181 so the 2 amp hour battery says it's 7.4 watt hours we're going to see what we can get out through the type C port after a full charge it's saying that the battery is at 4.08 volts It's interesting with the 2 amp hour battery, the test results were much closer to the listed spec. So after the tester turned off because of no voltage, the uh, 2 amp hour battery is at uh, 3.186 volts. So that's the type C port shutoff is 3.1. I used another tester to test the Ryobi 4-pin output to see if the watt hours and amperage would be different. So I set it at a, a cutoff when it got below 3 volts and I put a 1.2 amp test load on it. The 3 amp hour battery ran for 2 hours and 16 minutes at a 1.2 amp uh, load. It came out much closer to the listed values of, uh, it came out with 10 uh, watt hours and 2.7 amp hours. With a similar setup, the two amp hour battery ran for one hour and 28 minutes, and it got results of um, 1.76 amp hours and 6.3 watt hours. I was curious what one of these USB devices would take, so I've hooked up a ammeter here and so on. The flashlight on high is taking 0.52 amps and if I put it on low it's taking 0.1 amps. 
0.36 at high, 0.21 at low. This LED light takes 0.56 at high and 0.22 at medium. And 0 0.06 at low. I would have liked to test the higher powered USB tools, but they've got the third connector for the temperature sensor, and it's not easy for me to connect it to without taking apart the tools. For a rough test on one of these higher amperage tools, I used the Ryobi uh, rotary tool set to high, and I used a 2 amp hour battery, and it ran for 38 minutes. So doing the math, that gives you about three plus amps that it's pulling. I wanted to find out how much the Type-C USB port could output. Uh, so this is a two amp hour battery. I've got it, the tester set at 1.3 amps and it can do that. And it's putting out uh, 6.2 watts and the voltage has dropped down to 4.8 volts. If I go try to go to 1.37 amps, it, the battery doesn't support it. With the 3 amp hour battery, the uh, highest wattage I can get out of it is at 1.36 amps. And I get 6.3 watts out of it. And the voltage has dropped to 4.7. Well, I know we just went over a lot of data. But the main takeouts are that it is faster charging with the three port AC adapter. We can hack it to run off 12 volt cigarette lighters and type C ports. And that the type C uh, port can be charged and discharged at about 1.35 amps. I put all the things I use for testing in the video description. Well, I hope this hack was helpful and that all the test results. If it was, please hit like and subscribe have a great day.